hello guys welcome to the module 2 of this video which talks about how you can create 100 percent free smtp servers how you can create 100 percent free smtp servers first of all let us talk about what smtp really means smtp means simple mail transfer protocol and it is an internet standard communication protocol for electronic mail transmission. That means it is the protocol that your email server can use to transmit messages from your email to another person's email. So that is an SMTP. Without SMTP, a message cannot be sent from email from one email to another. It is not possible. That means your SMTP is a very important thing. It should be the number one thing that you need to have before you can say you want to send any message out or you want to send a blast out your campaign or you want to do your code emailing or you want to do anything at all when it comes to email. But the reason why a lot of us don't really hear about SMTP is because Google SMTP is already integrated with Gmail and uh, when you send a message, you don't need to set up the SMTP because it is already default. But when you are using tools or outside tools, you need SMTP, you need different SMTP and we have uh, different types of SMTP. So we have the premium type SMTP, we also have the free type SMTP. We have the premium type and the free type. Therefore, we also have the SMTP that is going to be on your cPanel that comes with your domain and hosting. It comes with your website domain and hosting. We have another SMTP, SMTP for that. So the premium type SMTP uh, you can use different SMTP like Turbo SMTP and so on and so forth. Amazon uh, SMTP that is Amazon SES and so on and so forth. So let me quickly go to my browser to show you various SMTP servers that we have both premium and free. So these are premium um, SF, SMTP servers and each most of the premium SMTP servers also have their free limits. They have their free limits that you can be able to send your emails through their free limits daily. Some can be some can have a daily limit of um, 100 emails being sent for free, 200, 500 and so on. And so forth. So let us start with this Sandy Blue. Sandy Blue happens to be Sandy Blue happens to be one of the um, SMTP um, websites that you can get your SMTP server. You can see Sandy Blue is one of the most popular SMTP email service providers. It's incredible, beginner friendly, and seamlessly integrates with Word. Press. So SMTP is actually a good one. It's actually a good premium. Um, um, uh, Sandy is actually a good premium SMTP email service provider. So let us go to another one. Another one is Mailgun. Mailgun, according to them, here, is also very good. And most of all these um, SMTP servers, you can integrate them directly to your WordPress website, and you can also buy them. By the SMTP servers and use on your on the software on the sending AI AI software. So they send grid as well. After send grid, all this has their premium version. Amazon SES. Amazon SES happens to be the cheapest of them all. It happens to be the cheapest of them all. But to get the Amazon SES, you need to go. Um, you need to go. Uh, Need to do series of verifications. Need to do series of verifications. Um, SMTP.com as well. 
smtp.com postmark and so many more mail jets and also this turbo smtp this turbo smtp as well you can buy the smtp and they have a free emails a free smtp that you can use and sell 6,000 emails in a month in just one month 6,000 emails in a month and you can check their pricing right here let us go to the pricing This is the pricing for basics for professional that's for 20,000 release per month, 100,000 release per month, and so on and so forth. Another premium one is the Google Workspace. This Google um, is the is the G Suits. We have Gmail and we have G Suits. Gmail has its own SM SMTP, G Suits also has its own SMTP. But for G suits, you can get free, uh, free emails being sent out, and also for Gmail, you can get free emails being sent out. That is free SMTP. But the limit for Google Gmail is 500 per day. While the limit for G suits, um, SMTP is 2,000 per day. Whereas G suits is premium. It's a premium one, so I believe you understand. Let us come here. So you can see, this is if you want to choose the Google Workspace pricing plan, it's for Google for Business Plus, and so on and so forth. I'm feeling so. To get, let me show you my own SMTP right here. You can see I have 38 SMTP and they are all free. 38 SMTPs and they are all free SMTPs. And another thing is that you can add unlimited number of SMTPs into this tool, and it's going to auto date by sending to people. It's going to auto date from one SMTP to another so that the SMTP won't become so crowded and be detectable by the email service providers. Can you see? I have 36 SMTP and they are all free. So, how can you create free SMTPs? Don't forget, I mentioned one of the free SMTPs that you can have the other time, which is Gmail. Gmail SMTP is a free SMTP with 500 limits per day, and also Yahoo Mail is a free SMTP. TP. Another free SMTP you can use is mail.ru. Mail the mail.ru is actually unlimited and you can use as many um, SMTP profile for mail.ru as you can. But we are going to be using Gmail. Don't forget, this is how the equation goes. Don't forget, you are using Gmail. And the one more thing is that if you have your website domain and hosting, I'm also going to teach you how to use your website domain and hosting SMTP to um, create your own SMTP and send out messages. So let us dive right into it. So we did. So let me show you how to get started with Gmail SMTP. So I'm going to go to my browser. Make sure you have um, a new or an existing Gmail account. So this is the Gmail. My Gmail account. This is a new and a fresh Gmail account. This is a new Gmail account, and um, depends on what you want to do. You want to add multiple Gmail accounts, and you already have um, your Gmail account. You can use those Gmail accounts. But if you want to create a new Gmail account, so you can create Gmails like create several Gmail accounts as many as you want. You understand? At the SMTP to the to the software. So now the next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to configure this Gmail. I'm going to connect the SMTP into the software. So I will click on this place and go to manage your Google account. So I'm gonna manage your Google account. So I'll come to security, then I'm going to scroll down and come to two-step verification. 
and come to two, two step verification so you can see that my two step verification is off currently i'm going to click on it so that i can be able to on this two step verification so let me click on get started you can see so it's going to ask you to prompt your phone if the gmail is actually connected to your phone it's going to ask you to prompt it but if it's not you can use another method which is the security key or this text sms or voice call so i'm going to use my phone you can see and you click on use another backup option so it's going to generate keys for me you can see the keys that it was able to generate for me which is my backup option so i won't be showing you guys this key i'm, I'm going to click on download so the key is going to download to my you can see the backup key has downloaded to my folder then i click on next then turn on to step verification so once i turn on these two step verifications the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to generate an app password app password for this software i'm going to generate an app password for this software so i will click on it so i will come to select app order you can see i will come to order then write the name okay then i will click on generate so you can see it has generated a password for me you can see it so let me now go back to my software let me go back to the software so now i'm in the software i want to add another software. let me say i don't have any smtp already so you are going to add it from scratch you just right click on it you can see new sender new sender so even though i still have smtp i want to keep adding more smtps i will still click on new sender so let me click on the new sender then it's going to bring out another pop-up so look at this pop-up so i'm going to give it um the server name smtp server name so the server name for the um for the smtp i want to use is what is gmail you can see there are several um several server names that are there like the one for turbo smtp according to what i explained amazon and so on and so forth but i'm going to use the smtp for gmail because it is free so if you want to use other smtp for any other um any other server that is not listed here you understand you just go to google let me go to google you come to google you search for smtp server server for so you put the name of the of that particular server if it is gmail it is yahoo mail it is hotmail and so on and so forth if it is aoi so i'm going to go for gmail because i'm using gmail you can see i have gmail right here so it already gave gave me the listing here so but these two as the suggested um smtp server as this so the next thing that you are going to see here, you are going to notice that you see enable authentication and enable ssl or tls both has to be clicked you must click the two of them so now another thing that you are going to notice right here is you are going to notice that you have a port this is a default port but this port is not for gmail smtp so i'm going to search for gmail ports S gmail smtp ports gmail smtp ports so gmail actually has several smtp, SMTP ports 25 4 to 6 or 5 8 7 but the one that works the most is the 4 6 5 so let us use the 4 6 5 you can see so the next thing you are going to do is to insert your username so what is your username your username is your gmail digi.tech.one at gmail.com according to the gmail that i have here your gmail address you can see it so let me zoom in that you can see clearly Good. so let me go back to my tool then i will paste i'm going to impute my smtp so the next thing i'm going to do right here is to impute my password so what will my password be i will go back to my app passwords you can see under this app password that i was creating the other time that i generated the other time i'm going to copy this you can see ctrl c then you go back to your tool you paste it so once you are done once you are done pasting it 
it's, it is going to ask you for a sender name. You can put any custom sender name that you'd like. That is your brand name. And which is going to be the name that is going to come when you send. That is going to show, you can see like Google right here. That is going to show when you send email or message to anybody. That is to personalize your brand. So I'm going to write the Digi Tech. Reply to has to be the same email as my username. You can see it has to be the same email. You can see send from this um, email and reply to the same email. So I'm going to send a test um, message to one of my Gmail so that you can see if it's going to work or not. So this part is going to prove whether the, uh, the SMTP works before you approve it or not so make sure you don't click on this new sender immediately make sure you test before you click on it so let me click on the send test email then i'm going to input my other digitech digitech dot Official at gmail.com. I hope it's correct, but then just click on send test. So you're going to you're going to wait for it to send and give you feedback that is sent or not. So you can see it is sent successfully, sent test successfully. So let me go out check whether it is it has really sent or not let me check if i'm going to receive it in that my email or not so i'm opening the email right now so you can see it now wola <laughs> can see this is so crazy diggy tech which was the brand that i put on the email which was the brand that i put on the email you can see and this is the test message that it gave us right here so i can open it you can see it. This is so wonderful. That shows that this SMTP works perfectly. So I click on new sender. Then voila. That means automatically when you look at the list, I already have the new the new um, SMTP added to my previous 38 list. So it's made up 39 lists. So if you want to add more and more to this, that means you keep creating a new gmail account so i'm going to advise you that you should keep creating a new gmail account that is what that has the name of your brand that has the name of your brand you can see my own digi digi dot tech dot one i can have digi dot tech dot two i can have digi dot tech dot three and continues goes on and on like that so that's really going to help you to be able to prove and personalize your messages for your brand so thank you very much for this 